So this is my FRS and <laughs> the bumper is kind of beat to shit. It's all dented up and bruised. So I bought a, uh, a used BRZ bumper yesterday and I have to get it painted and put on. All right, so I popped all of the plastic parts out and just finished sanding it down. I don't know how much more to sand it. This is my first time doing it. So I'm going to leave it as is and then go to a few body shops around town and ask for a quote on how much to paint it. All right, very excited. The new bumper came back painted to match the car. This is the 2017 BRZ bumper and there's the 2014 FRS, so I have to do the swap coming up. But the difficult part is that on an FRS, the turn signals are at the bottom. That's what these are, turn signals. On the BRZ, the turn signal is built in the light. Thus, a normal BRZ turn signal, I'm sorry, a normal BRZ bumper doesn't have any integration for turn signals. So, uh, I went online and I bought the fog lights for the BRZ, which will go something like this. We'll talk about the brackets not working later, but ultimately, God damn it, it's gonna go like that. Um, before I can put the bumper in, I have to make sure I can get a light working in the housing that's made for the fog light. So right now I'm going to take off the liner right here and try to get to the light bulb to see if it fits or to see if it's a plug and play and we're gonna find out all right so I took off the three clips there there and there these little things super easy to take off was able to put the liner to the side and grab the uh, turn signal out from uh, from behind So this is the uh, FRS turn signal bulb and housing. It's got three prongs in the back and that's because uh, it's for turn signals. Normally you just have two for a light, but it's got three. So okay, I want to use this with the new bulb that I, with the bulb housing that I got and it, I mean it barely fits in it it can be it can be forced in which is probably what I'm gonna do um, and I've tested it I plug these in into there and works just fine obviously as it would and the car doesn't know what's up what's happening uh, all right so I went out and got a Dremel this guy over here and the plan is to um, kind of chip away at the edges of the the fog light I got so that the stock FRS turn signal bulb fits in there. Um, looks like I just need to kind of run this around the edges a couple times, so we'll see what happens. All right, so it worked. Made a huge mess, but I was able to uh, just keep running the Dremel on the inside to this, and now the fog or the turn signal bulb goes in. Yep. So it's as far as it goes. There are. Uh, Little, um, little plastic things sticking out the side, so it won't go down any farther. But it's nice. So there you go. Uh, the thing is now filled with plastic pieces, so I have to. I'm gonna try to stick like a vacuum in there and see if I can suck it all out. All right. So today's bumper swap day. So this is the 2014 FRS, and this is a 2017 BRZ. And we're gonna try to do the bumper swap today. So. Uh, First thing we're gonna do is take off the well, take off the bumper. Keep watching. All right. So All right. The so the bumper off. You'll get a little clip of the car with uh, no top on. It's pretty easy to slide off once all the clips are removed. All right, so here's the two bumpers side by side. The one on the right is the FRS. The one on the left is the BRZ. 
all the clips look like they line up to the eye, but we, we found out later on is that they're not exact. And um, there's one right there that you have to shave off. There's actually a little divot right there where I'm kind of pointing that you have to cut in, which we didn't do until I found out later on. All right, so before we put the bumper on, I just realized I have to put the fog lights in first. So this morning, I um, made this hole bigger so that the turn light can fit in. But now I have to mount these in the bumper before I can put it in. So I have to do that first. So the fog lights I bought, the brackets are kind of generic. So I had to use a piece of cardboard to make a template of what I needed to, to make to have this happen. So I bought a piece of plastic from Lowe's and using the cardboard, I'm gonna cut out the piece that I need. So I'm gonna put the piece onto the bumper and then the fog, uh, the fog light to the, the piece of plastic and so that it'll work. So look at the brackets, they're generic and they don't line up to the three holes that are the factory ones on the BRZ bumper. I just finished uh, cutting the plastic piece. Now this is going to be the, the mount for the uh, for the lights. Um, I think I have to trim a little bit more right here. And then those will mount to there. So uh, once I make sure it works 100%, I will flip it over and make another one for the other side. All right, so both sides are done. Now I'll be able to the first thing I'm going to do is screw these into the, um, the bumper and then I'll screw this in the back of that. Alright, so the lights are on the bumper. It worked out perfectly. So you'll see from the back, there's the uh, plastic piece. Now we debated trimming it down, but uh, doesn't, it had plenty of space. We really didn't need to. And plus, uh, the more plastic we have on there, I felt like the stronger it would be. So it looks great. So now we got to put on the car. All right, so here's the BRZ bumper on the FRS. Um, it was extremely difficult. You definitely needed two people. Um, I mentioned earlier there's a spot right under the light that I never cut out right there. Um, I have to go back and do that. Um, the sides also don't fit very well because I need the bumper clip for this particular bumper. I think the three clips on the side don't line up. Um, getting that light in is next to impossible. So there's a piece on the original bumper that's part of it. So you have to do not do this swap unless you buy that piece first, little black piece at the end, and uh, uh, and put it in. Otherwise, you won't be able to attach that light. So I'm waiting for that piece to come in. Um, otherwise, that light kind of just sits there. Everything else lined up just fine. All right, so here's the final shot with the new bumper on. I think it went very well. You definitely need to have two people. Make sure you have that side marker piece before you start. Other than that, uh, um, like I said, getting the lights on were pretty easy. Um, it's a fairly easy swap. There's some spots that aren't perfect, but it's going to have to do. Keep watching. Next week, I'm going to be putting in a, a new door and also a new steering wheel. So if you like watching, please subscribe and uh, hopefully get you guys some more videos in the future. I might make another video update uh, fixing the parts, so stay tuned for that as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.